All right, I am making a claim that the universe is alive and that it appears to be totally alive as far as I can determine. The planets were alive or are alive now. Uh, Comet 67P discussed, I ha or the mysterious features discussed, are on YouTube and uh, it, it's, it's, it's a tendon emphasis point. Every rock that you see in front of you there was alive and breathing oxygen has vascular entries that I can show and prove. The chemistry will be identical to what you find on Comet 67P and all the tendon emplacements that will be around the world and they are everywhere. The world was covered with giants and the Bible said it. And I'm not the religious person in that respect. Uh, I just go by the clues. And the Bible said there was giants in the earth. And boy, they weren't kidding. Sicker point is not tectonic activity by any stretch of the imagination. It is a tendon emphasis point. And I intend to show that and prove that as well. And the chemistry will be unimpeachable. That is what I intend to prove. And if I'm wrong, show me I'm wrong. If I'm right, changes a lot of things. All right, what you're looking at right there is plagioclase. That is what's inside of a tendon. When the tendon ball forms, it comes out with a stalk, which is broken off right here. And that stalk ends up going into that spiky stuff. That spiky stuff embeds into the bone, and that's what holds the tendon. And there's a, a, a strap that comes out of here. And that is from this rock right here. And this rock has every similarity, every single structure that is exactly it's a tendon. Now, this would have been one of the straps of the tendon coming up, and it came all the way out to here, and I broke it off under, and that actually was blood red. And I mean wet blood red. And that right there is the tendon emphasis, the ball that goes down. The strap is here, and it goes right down in. That is the architecture of the straps. You see it? This way and this way. And it comes down, the ball is there, and then it protrudes out and makes a flap. And that flap is on top of that red wet stuff. And that red wet stuff is what's called, um, I believe this is SLRP, Slurpees. And here's, um, there's, there's plagioclases all over this thing, but that's the one I showed it. Because there's m multiple tendons that embed. Now, in the bottom, here's your, your, your vein and your artery. The vein, and remember this, in all animal, well, all the ones I know of, the vein clamps off because it's the dirty blood and it's always darker than this side. And this side sometimes completely purges but at, at, at sometimes it's just red iron rich blood. This side is, is, is already been used up and it's always clamps because they have clamps on the vein side. And the rest of that is this plagioclase. place. This is the tendinous material which is the um, fascia and the connective tissue around it. So anyway that's what we got. Okay, this is from dev.biologist.org, and to me this is the smoking gun complete. This is the way tendons develop, and they create until they get to this phase, and they have a strap coming out with these flaky little fibers, which I can show you in a picture. I have them all over mine, and they show up all over the buttes out in our Midwest, or West. This is the spiky plagioclases I've shown over and over and over again, and they end up implanting. This isn't exactly accurate. They end up implanting, and this is the red goopy stuff that's all around them, and I have that as well. And here's a tendon emphasis right here. I'll quickly show you. And all the stuff I have very highly detailed. There's the emphasis point. There's the strap that comes running out. There's the same architecture. If this this was consumed in a fire, if that had its continuous ball of uh, the fibers would come out the strap of the tendon and somewhere up around in here it would start to blossom out into the the muscular stuff the wet gooey red stuff this is the plagioclase that anchors in the bottom and i'm telling you that is spiky spiky stuff and that round ball is what anchors into the bone that's what holds it there's other ones that'll come out of here as well it's a it's a bundle of uh, it holds your body together and keeps your muscles working and then up in here it's it's bubbled out some of the vascularization but anyway that's that's what happens all right this one's a big one and this one is the same thing though it comes out with a strap the strap comes out and then you have a plagioclase that locks into place like that just like a claw and here's the teeth in the front 
and that's the claw and it digs right in and holds this so that that strap can go up to the muscles and you see there's probably another one here now you see these this is the plagial clase I'm not sure if you can see this or not I'm doing this by myself yeah I guess you can see that now that's this here you can see the little stripes in the plagial clase it's what it is now this appears to have been in um, a volcanic uh, pH which causes it to turn into what they call limonite but this also has veins and arteries and all kinds of stuff see see that little black spot there that's that's where I don't know if you can see it. whoops that's where you, you're getting your blood supply see them on here one there vein, vein that's the uh, artery side and that's the vein side this is a gigantic tendon emplacement and they have the vein in the artery. They all have them. So if you, you go find them in your backyard, they're everywhere. All right, you really should go to see this. Uh, the Living Universe Appears Proven and Scientific Review is requested from many. Anyway, this, it, this is the tendon emphasis. That's the ball at the bottom. And then it comes up to a stalk. And that is where they're mineralized little straight little um, pieces. And at the end, this little circular thing, that's where the muscle breaks off because it transitions into the red wet muscle. This is a very fibrous and doom, 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 doom. That's not just accidental that those are in. Those are the spikes. And I showed you the spikes I have in mine. And I have them in many places, not just that one. I have them in dozens of places. And it, it, you have them too. All you got to do is in your backyard, you go pick some up. You got to look carefully. And I'll show you. Anyway, go to this 67P. Uh, I have a couple of different videos about it, but it's, it's, there's no question what it is. You have to, you know, you got to examine it a little more. And they're all over our, our west, all over them, and they're everywhere. Devil's post pile is, is nothing but a bunch of tendon in, in placements. You can see the blood inside them and everything. I show all that. I have a video on that one too. Stonehenge is nothing but a collection of giant creatures' body parts. No question about it. I have a video on that too. And the Stonehenge heel stone is a foot. And there's no question about that. So this is what I'm saying. And I want somebody to look at it and see what they say. And the academic people are the ones that are we trust to look at things that may not be what they are saying. Because that, you know, reality is reality. And that's what I like is a little reality here. Seven CAT scans have been done on these by uh, Jesse Garant and Associates. 3D CAT scans, fabulous, nice, nice, nice job, and very, very helpful to us. Um, we've had uh, three DNA tests done, and um, they are range from normal size human up to very, very, very large human, and they're all 100% human DNA. And uh, I hope we'll show that test. And uh, I intend to show that the earth is covered with giant creatures. This is all facts. I'm not making any of this up and I can prove it. And I intend to show that Meteor 67P is a giant tendon enthesis point. And I have that as a video on uh, YouTube as well. And there is literally no question about it. So that's what I intend to show and then I would like to have somebody uh, investigate these on an academic level and, and look at this as reality because it's being ignored and I've been pushing and pushing and pushing and uh, Comet 67P pushed it right over the top. 